Greetings everyone, CCX here, and welcome back to Brave Fence and Musashi. In the last episode, we entered the Frozen Palace or Frozen Mansion or whatever, and now in this part, we're actually going to f hopefully finish off the Frozen Palace slash Frozen Mansion slash Ice Palace slash whatever it's called. You know, this name keeps changing. After a while, you just say screw it and just keep on going and move on with your life. Seriously, just move on with your life, guys. Don't make, don't let your dreams be dreams. What, what are you talking about? Just don't let you, just do it. Just do it, guys. Don't let, don't, don't worry about it. Also, we're in the wrong room. <laughs> we're off to a great start. All right. Now, there has been like some start, um, some moments that I've actually been having like a little bit of issues with. And it's the fact that most of the time, I think that this is probably this this place and the last place were the longest of the temple of the um of the dungeons because I'm going to say this now the next place that we're going to is actually not that long because it's relatively short. It's so short that it's the hell is that? Well, actually, it's not that short because of the fact that it does take a little bit of time to get through. And the fact is, is that, uh, what am I trying to get at? This is, that, that's not the right room. And, of course, I'm falling asleep again. Because why not? The room is this way. I know it's this way. It better be this way. Wait, did we get the, wait, did we get the blue or the green eye? Wait a minute, which eye, which eye did we get? Oh, we got the blue eye. Wow, I forgot which eye that we, I actually got. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, it's good that there's a bencher right here. So easy to get, too. I mean, seriously, it's just right there. Who in the world are you? You're the janitor. Okay. <laughs> okay, we found the janitor in the frozen mansion. Why was I'm more so trying to figure out why these guys are even in this area to begin with? If they're supposed to be captured, why are they here? Why would they be captured here? It doesn't make any sense. And whatever. I don't try to. I don't try to question stupidity of people getting captured. That's like saying why does Peach keep getting captured in volcano areas? Ah, why are you a jerk? You cannot kill me. It's alright, cat. I can just drop you off and then not really have anything to do with. See, I don't want to deal with you, so I'm just going to simulate you. Because I don't even know who you are, what you do, and what are you? Oh, you do hurl. Okay. I guess that's a very nifty ability. Says nobody ever. Oh, God. No, get away from me. Don't be hurling me off the stage, because I know that's what you're going to do. Come on. Don't you want to hurl? No, I don't. And this is the item that we have been longing for. If we open this chest, we get the red shoes. Use the legendary goggles, and we got the legendary shoes. You can now walk on ice without slipping. And we equip them right away, because we could walk on... There we go. My god. <laughs> Alright, now the next area you want to go to is over here. Now that we have the capabilities of walking on the platforms without slipping... Because once we end up getting a new item, you damn well please, we're going to use it, utilize it to our advantage. We couldn't go on that platform before because it was very, very slippery. And my inventory is full again. Why am I not even surprised? The sadness of a true hero. Uh, I guess while I'm at it, I guess I can also do that too. I think the worst part of um, falling asleep in this is probably eat undies. Hmm. Alright. Anyways, I think that the worst part about this is that you end up literally falling asleep during a boss fight. That's probably the worst. Never be tired during a boss fight, Rose. You're gonna really hate yourself for it. Alright, what the... <sighs> Alright, more of my goddamn... Oh my god, why does my clone... Why is he... Why is my clone electrifying? Does that make any sense, guys? Uh, we thought it would be funny. Yeah, you want to know what else is funny? Okay, you're being annoying. I'm gonna... 
God. Okay. You. Need. To. Go. God. Sheesh. Oh, no. Not the Jihad Wolves. <laughs> the Judo Wolves is what I call them. Alright, we want to climb up here onto this ice cube because not only will we be able to get ourselves a treasure chest, but we'll also be able to get ourselves a bincho. But first, treasure chest, which is WH cloth, which are basically B undies. Also, if you guys are trying to figure out who undies are they, try to guess. And if you guess right, good. If you guess wrong, then... Watch more anime. That's all I can say. Actually, what anime even has that? You know what? I don't even... Don't answer that, please. Hey, another musician. I think you might be the last one. No, I don't... Are you the last one? I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't think that's the last of the musicians. All right. Now, there should be another entrance. Oh, okay, here is another entrance right over here. Because we can't get through that door because green eye. All right, for this area, what does it say? May the clone be have Victor. Okay. And there we go. And he's dead. The clone. The clone. Oh, yeah, we can only use it once. That's dumb. But yeah, only the clone is the only thing that has to kill it. Guys, there's a reason why you need to have friggin' um Where what is the most valuable? Okay, EX drinks are actually the most valuable because that actually cures me all the way, so I can use another gel. Anyways, as I said before, um key items make them into key items don't make them into separate items because that's a waste of time and also these clones are douchebags okay now we're actually done with the trial stuff now so essentially all you have to do now is just go towards the boss now you essentially needed all those eyes to actually progress through this place anyways and as I said before, the trials are not that difficult. They're very straightforward. The only one you probably might have a little bit of a difficulty time with is probably the one where you're not supposed to get hit. But in all honesty, that's not really complicated to do as I just showcased it even though I lost to it the first time. So, yeah. Anyways, once you have planted the green eye, what you're going to do... Oh, actually, I lied. There is one time we're gonna actually use the um the, the friggin' fire scroll. Aside from the boss, we're also gonna use it now. Now they think about it, cause we're done. Now we're gonna head towards the boss. I told you we we're gonna be finishing the ice palace. See, I never lie to you guys. Normally, I I never do. Sometimes I do though. I'm trying to figure out and make sure that we have all the binchos. We should. Because if we went through all the areas, we should really have everybody. Alright. Now let's climb up aboard. There's nothing else for us to really do. But this place, this thing is covered in ice. It also has the Triforce colors. I like it. Maybe if I insert the red eye, blue eye, and green eye. Ah, uh, whatever. Mushashi gives no craps and just literally just puts the red eye, black dragon, blue eyes, black dragon. I mean, black, wow. Blue eyes, white dragon. And I don't really know what the green eye dragon is, because I don't think there is such a thing as a green eye dragon, unless you want to count the, um,. The season with the mystical dragons, then go right ahead. But in all honesty, no. <laughs> and the BL cloth, which are T Hanky. Yeah. Try to figure out who those belong to. Well, this is the Thirst Quenchers um, hideout, so it's not really uncommon to figure out whose items these are. Am I right, guys? Seriously, you guys still can't figure it out who it is? God, what's wrong with you guys? Like, what? what uh, 
What's wrong with you? Like, come on, like, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we're also gonna be using the fire scroll one like uh, another time. Okay, I I kept saying that we don't use this scroll a lot, but we really don't to be honest. You only use it twice. Use it twice throughout the entire dungeon. I won't count the bosses because you have no choice but to use it against the boss. But I'm gonna say this now though, this boss theme is just phenomenally awesome. Just listen to the let's listen to the first half of the boss theme. Anyways, enjoy the boss theme from the, the third Crest Guardian. Durgan. All right, let's begin this boss fight as proper. Frost Dragon in this phase is just gonna go ahead and um, fly around like a moron. What your goal is is to burn the crap out of his face. Only his face can be targeted though, so yeah, that's kind of a disappointment. So just wait for him to charge at you and then just burn him. Sadly though, the fire scroll goes with a flamethrower um physics which sucks so trying to actually aim at the frost dragon is a little bit difficult okay it really shouldn't be that difficult for me to aim for the frost dragon i'm just being stupid now uh, okay and here it comes oh my god really okay he's gonna spin around spin around spin around stop double take three times and charge at me I'm just gonna do that because that seems to work a lot better. I swear that the second farm is a lot simpler to be honest. Okay, I think he's done now. All right, cool. There we go. Now we get on some. Now we get some Crash Bandicoot up in this. And I kid you not, it's seriously like Crash Bandicoot because oh my god, this part kind of this part kind of can get you killed. And I think you can get killed instantly here. So yeah. Um, rush, please. <laughs> Wait for the melt. Wait for it to melt. Melt the ice. Okay, that should be good. It's a good thing we have double jump, because this would suck if we didn't. Uh -oh. He's gone rogue. He's actually going a lot more vicious this time. Alright. Now it's time for the true boss. And I actually took damage on all right, now for what's gonna happen is is that first off, I screw this up. I screw that up. You okay? I'm just gonna say this now. Don't bother trying to attack him when he does that. When he does this, however, he's going to take a breather after he's done his ridiculous kamehameha attack. He's gonna go ahead and lose his breath. Also, don't touch him because if you touch him, he will hurt. Obviously. Trying to pinpoint where he's going to actually fire his beam is a little bit difficult. So what I recommend is going into the middle and then whichever side he's not going to shoot it in, just go in that direction you should be fine. After you've done enough damage to his um, to his head, however, he will go ahead and, well, get knocked down. And then he flies up and then comes back down, which I don't really understand that. That's a waste of time, but you know what? I don't really care. 
You know what? I'm fine. I'm not gonna really bother to cure myself. I have an S revive, so who cares? I have money to spare, damn it. <laughs> Where are you shooting? Okay. Just charge up your fire scroll. And prepare to flame him. Flame him with bad like flame him like bad YouTube comments. Yeah, the Frost Dragon is actually not that hard of a boss compared to the Actually, none of the bosses are. Like I said, none of the Crest Guardians are really that hard. Now that I think about it. I only said, like, the last, the one that we're going to fight next is a little bit more difficult. I said that I wasn't going to go and use anything, but I kind of don't want to really use the S Revive because the S Revives, S Revives are a lot of money. So I don't want to waste my S Revive unless I really, really need to. Probably, I'm, the only time I'm probably going to waste my S Revive is probably during the final area. Even in that porch, I kind of don't even want to waste it either, because it's really, really, it, it's very situational. And we're done. Yeah, as I said before, Brawl Tracker is not that hard of a boss. Musashi received Frost Dragon's core. The Firecrest has been liberated. Limited level has increased. Max BP increased by 25. Elements are cured. How refreshing. Hey, look. A Super Mario callback. Even though it kind of blinds us with the light, but whatever. Oh, never mind. It just, it just consumes us. That's great, too, I guess. And with that, we are done with the Ice Palace. Now we can leave. Because, screw you guys. Oh, I do like that when you're fighting a boss and you end up beating it, it actually makes it... I don't think... Okay, maybe your tire doesn't go down. Doesn't go up when you're fighting, um... When you're fighting well, bosses. Back to the village. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. But anyways, more cutscenes. Enjoy. Actually, no, I don't think there's a cutscene here. I think it's a... Uh, I'm thinking of another thing. Never mind. I lied. I am disappointed in you two. You didn't think that I'd forget that incident, did you? Please forgive us, sir. W we will not disappoint you in the f future, Colonel. Uh, yeah. You saved us from poverty. We won't ever forget that. Even if we wanted to. Even if you wanted to? W what he means is that even if w w w we were low enough to want to forget, we couldn't. Isn't that right, Ben? Uh, yeah, that's it. I didn't mean that I wanted to forget. Duh. Uh, 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 uh. Silence. Presently, Ginger Ale and Bubbles are out searching for Musashi. There's no need to worry about those frivolous sisters. Depending on Topo's situation, we will change our tactics accordingly. Be prepared. It's your ch chance to be p p promoted, sir! I will do my b best! Uh, yeah, me too! We'll show them your power! I'm surrounded by idiots. Chapter 5. The one that nests the underground. The one that nests underground. Oh god, what's happening now? Something's wrong, Mayor? Yeah, what's up with the music? Well, something's troublesome just occurred and... Again? What happened? It's a long story. You can find out more at the village shops. Goodbye. What the hell? Find out more? You didn't even tell me anything yet. Whatever. I'll go and find out more at the shops. Oh, what's happening now in my godforsaken awful village? You know what? Before I start giving a damn about this stupid, dumb, cursed village of hell, I'm going to ignore everything, and I'm going to go ahead and just 
just... I'm gonna go and praise my crap. Alright, with the... God damn, I can never find the center town of this place, I swear. Into the appraisal shop, please. Yeah, yeah. Yo, what's going on? What's going on? What's happening? Been running this shop for many years, but this is the first time the palace demanded money. Makes me feel like closing this shop and moving away. The other shop owners must also be devastated that the princess took their profits. Their profits? Why the hell would she do that? Anyways, let's actually sell the big straw, which is a big straw, I guess. Alright, now, time for some disgusting factors. The E undies belongs to Eddie. Yeah, that's why it's 10 drans. The B undies belongs to Ben. That's why it's also 10 drans. The T hanky is 2,000. Try to figure out why it's 2,000. This guy's a pervert. The T hanky? It's not really a hanky. It's panties. That's right. Japanese panties. This guy is gross. <laughs> this guy is our grossed. Anyways, look at all that money that we made. You know, it's sad too because all our money is actually going to get drained when we end up buying friggin' um, crap. Hi. Oh, you seem happy. Why did the princess do such a thing? She's not my hero anymore. Well then, you sure shift gears. But first, before I go ahead and talk to Tim, I'm going to talk to his mother first. Welcome. What is happening? What's going on? The princess took all of my money. She's been collecting money from all the from all the shops. Can you believe it? No, not really. I kind of find that very far fetched. Uh, you know, it's I'm. I'm wondering if these things are really cut in prices. They kind of look like they're cut in prices. Or I can just be really, really weirded out. Because I'm trying to wonder if you actually failed that mission with Tim. Was she up the prices of those items? I can't believe that the princess did that. She's such a bad girl. Yeah, she deserves a spanking. I mean, she deserves to be talking to. Oh, that princess. Ugh. Yeah, what's going down? Princess Filet came and demanded maintenance fee for the palace. She claimed fees from all of the, all over the village shops, too. I can't believe that she'd do such a thing. This country used to be such a nice place. Welcome to New York! Da -da 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 -da. I'm lying. It's... <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Or unless we have to... I don't think you actually need to talk to everybody, but I kind of like to add flavor text because of reasons. Welcome. How's it going? I came to chat. I can't believe it. The princess took all the inn's money. We worked so hard to earn it, and she just takes it away. I feel betrayed. We're just her slaves. I don't... I don't know. That's what it sounds like what a princess will do. I'm actually gonna go talk to the, um, go talk to the palace real quick, because this feels weird. What do you gossip ladies have to say? Did the princess actually come down to the village? Yes, she did, dear. But she caused quite a commotion. A commotion? So many terrible things are happening lately. The village used to be such a peaceful place. How true. What will become of our village? Well, hopefully you guys don't get attacked by something else because I'm kind of sick and tired of you guys getting, like, killed or whatever keeps happening to you guys. Like, after a while, I get really, really tired of this. Anyways, let's go ahead and visit the palace and see what's happening, because this seems, this needs to stop. Why is Princess Filet stealing my money? I mean, the town's money. <laughs> Yo, Geezer, what's the hibbity haps? Hey, Geezer, those thieves weren't at their hideout. Sir Musashi, other more important matters doubt exist. Do you mean the princess? Can you read my mind? The princess disappeared. I looked everywhere in the palace, but couldn't find her. For her. She doubted be fine when we had dinner last night. She seemed to be doing fine when we was in the village too. The village? You saw her in the village? The people in the village shops were saying that she took all of their profits. She said that it, that it was to help prepare the castle. I didn't see her personally, but I don't think they really—they all lie about something like that. Hmm. We must hurry and find the princess. We must prove her innocence. You're right. She wouldn't do such a thing. 
that you go and check out the castle again, and I'll go look for her in the village and the surrounding areas. I understandeth. Oh, by the way, the gondola hath been repaired. We may now transport goods and passengers to the former palace. Perfect. Then I'll give it a ride. Take us care, Musashi. We'll talk to the next musician later once we... <sighs> by the way, guys, I'm actually going to end the part because... I'm going to let you guys see what's going to happen in the next episode. Oh boy! The gondola is fixed! Fuck!